tidal wave incident along the coast in the Keta municipality of the Volta region, and that has displaced uh, some residents. We understand part of the Keta community, uh, another community known as Fuvume Anglo, amongst others, they've been affected. Uh, that, we know that the Keta municipality is one of the areas in the Volta region prone to tidal wave activities. In 2021, over 3,000 residents, they were seriously affected after their homes were submerged. Let's speak with the Member of Parliament for um, Keta, uh, Kwame Gakwe, for some perspectives and the nature of the disaster and uh, try to understand the extent of uh, damage. Kwame, grateful for your time with us on the program. Some sad news in your constituency this afternoon, but tell us what the extent of damage is. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to your listeners and the viewers. Uh, to be truthful to you, you know, these have been a perennial issues concerning Keta. Day in, day out, every year we have the tire wave ravaging through the communities. And then we have, on behalf of the people who have talked to this government for his commitment in solving this, this problem permanently, but all efforts have, been, have not been fruitful for us. As I speak to you, a lot of communities along the coast, Keta Central, um, Keji Kofe, mm. Abucha Kofe, Jenu Kofe, Nupese Kofe, Tetevi Kofe, and all have been, the, the, the sea have overflowed it down. Mm. And then they are, they are, those communities are now uh, settled in, the, in, in, in terms of full of water. So this is what is happening. And then people's properties. Food items have been ravaged by the sea, the tidal waves. Mm. And then some of the infrastructure is the roofing and the wood, and then even including the tourism places, including when you look at the emancipation beach, have been damaged with regards to the tidal wave. When you go to Agro Lodge, there is a, a little damage to those properties. So, I mean, the permanent solution to this problem is to continue the phase two of Blacusu stretch of the Get that sea defense project. Mm. That is the permanent solution. But to tell us, uh, what, what is the nature of uh, work or progress made on the sea defense walls? <clears throat> the sea defense for Keta is, uh, I mean, all the way to Blakusu. But the phase two is supposed to start. Supposed to start. So that at the end of the day, we can push the sea a little bit, then all the way to Aflaw border. That is the only way we can be safe. But if we are doing these knee jerk reactions, at the end of the day, the problem is still there because we are not solving the problem. Uh, last time we asked questions in parliament, the minister for Western House came to the floor of parliament and then reiterated that. They are working on it. They are the one to do another feasibility study. I know you we vehemently opposed to do those feasibility study and they have allocated 10 million Ghana cities for feasibility study. As I speak to you, nothing is happening. Mm. The minister was in the community, saw the, 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 the effects and the impact of the tidal wave on the people and the community. And as I speak to you, since then, nothing is happening. Right. So I think the only permanent solution is continuation of the Keta Sea defense. Mm. But Bef before you take leave of us, Sandra, but let's find out the, the nature of the relief items and whether any have come for the affected residents, the households, and the individuals who unfortunately have, have become victims of uh, this recent tidal wave. No, 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 no relief item. I think now that the NADMO will be going on to the sea, I haven't seen any of them yet. Mm. Uh, uh, the MC is aware, and uh, we, we think, as a matter of agency, agency I think that uh, the, 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 the NADMO is supposed to be uh, at the aid of the people, and then we, we take stock of the, the, the mm. effect of the disaster. And then we know that more of people involved, the household involved, based on that, and if any relief item is in, then we are able to sort the people out. The last time uh, it was you, your, your art outfit in terms of TV3 and other right. corporate body who supported it. So we are actually using your mission to appeal to the benevolent mm. and NGOs and then a corporate body who will be able, 
in their small way to contribute to saving the life of the people of Qatar. Right. Mr. Jujoli Gakwe, thank you so much for your time with us on the program. We've been speaking with a member of parliament uh, for the Qatar constituency there. Well, that.